All right, so welcome to the final to the final installment of high level uh, Gwent Deck play, and we'll finally just play against Coetel to round up the lineup. So let's do that. All right, so we don't care about uh, Ravix, which is our fake name. We'll just play Gwent. So always bid fifty. A round of Gwent, maybe. Yes, of course. So in this case, um, Scoitel in the ways is pretty similar to monsters. Uh, they just have a really strong front row. So Scorcher and Biting Frost is really good against them. So let's go. Okay, so we do not have any of our compass, but we re replace the commando. We got Avalok. So I think that's okay. This is good enough for now. So he starts with Avalok. Well, 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 she will Avalok her right back. And in this case, her leader's abil ability, which she already used, is just to draw an extra card at the beginning of the battle. So it's already used. So let's start with Dijkstra. Let's fill out our hand a little bit more. So we got the full dragon hunter combo, which is, uh, can win us one round. So he's now swarming the front row. Let's give him Thaler. So we got two combos, and I think, I think he cannot win. Let, let's stall a little bit with Tyson. Okay, so she got 12 and 12, which is a pretty strong lineup, but let's fill up on. Another 12. Uh, so we can't we can't do anything about that. I think we're we'll just at this point it's safe to start our catapult combo. And he has passed with 50 points. Unfortunately for her, I keep saying he because most of the web players are men, but um, unfortunately for her, we have won this round. And actually, I think Squatel's ability. Um, to, to choose when you go. I, I think that's the weakest ability out of all of the factions. Um, but anyway, so, so yeah, so in this case, our goal is to play out our Dragon Hunter combo, which is susceptible to a Scorch card. So we want to delay, we want to delay as much as possible and play it. So let's start with Geralt. So he's gonna... This, 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 let's double check our graveyard. So we just have the two catapults in there. So we can actually bring out both catapults with our medics, but I'll just I'll start with the commando. Kind of stall. Okay, I'm gonna go with old geared. See if you use a Scorch on this guy. Not yet. Okay. I think at this point, I'm gonna use Yennefer and bring out the Catapult as a delay tactic, again. Well, in Trenton Mirth, okay. Burns are commando, not a big deal. Um, Okay, well, I think I think if he has a Scorcher, he can Scorch our Catapults. If he doesn't, he's gonna lose through Catapults. Yeah, so he's gonna... He burns our Catapults, it's okay. And now it's safe for us to start the Dragon Hunter combo. 
which was the winning condition to begin with. So now he, just, he has nothing. So we're all, we are already winning, but I'll complete the Dragon Hunter combo. So I absolutely annihilated him in this round, so... Let's play one more game, and that will be the end of our high-level uh, Gwent play. So bet 50 again, make some money. Round of Gwent Start. Okay, let's take a look at our cards. So we have a lot of heroes. Let's see if I can decoy. Uh, we already have a decoy. Okay. Maybe it was better to leave the decoy. But it, it's not bad. It's not, we have a good hand. I guess Koytel is a little bit more flexible than monsters. Um, because they can use the archer row as well. He's now swarming the field. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to delay with Natalis. Unfortunately, our draws weren't that good, but I'm waiting for him to use the spy. Oh, he passes on the spy. Interesting. So I'm just going to use another hero card and draw one card. Which is, I, I feel like drawing one card is way more powerful than Skoytel's ability of choosing when when you go first or second. I, I think that's... I don't know why they weaken Skoytel so much. That's... Doesn't seem that fair. But I'm, you know, I'm not sure. So we got our Dragon Hunters, and um, we have only heroes in the, in the graveyard. He has our Spy in his hand, so we'll stall with Geralt. We have a couple of really good cards against him, Scorcher and Biting Frost. So we'll use Siri. or blue commando kind of stall for time again before our main combo plays out so he's really filling out his um, front row here uh, let's see here so we have two heroes in the graveyard so um, at this point I think we can start our dragon hunter combo And we're going to burn, it's not essential, but we'll burn his sevens in the front row. So I think, um, I guess I'll wait for his spy one more turn. Uh, unfortunately, I have to use up Yennefer without pulling anybody out of the graveyard. No, he doesn't want to use the spy. That's unfortunate. Um, okay, we'll just burn his tenor. Yeah, at this point, I have to use the frost. I don't know why he's not using the spy. Finally. He kept it, he almost, he almost um, made me waste all the cards, but now I have an option to either play the Spy or I think the more risky play would be to, to pick up the Spy, but I'm going to do it. I think the less risky would be to pick up um, Bill and Trenton Mirth, but I will do the more risky play because it, it's not a guarantee that we have one. So she's going to pick up another Spy. But I will give one spy right back to her. He 
Yeah, so this is what I was afraid of. So now, now she has a powerful front row. And I could have used Will and Trent and Mirth to, to burn all of them actually because they were all at two when the Biting Frost was on. But it's okay, we'll, we'll play the Catapult for now. Okay, so yes, picked up a hero card. And now we'll use our all geared to strengthen the Dragon Hunter combo. And that's it. This is this is the final move. Uh, she has lost, but I'll just finish the Dragon Hunter combo. All right, and that's that. This completes the high level series of high level videos. And thank you for watching. Hopefully it's been helpful.